Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday, or should I say Friday, Thursday's trading, the uh, 25th of August 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Uh, you can download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, in terms of uh, market reaction, okay, it uh, certainly has been a risk off tone. Uh, set mainly by the U.S. markets due to the uh, concerns uh, emanating from EpiPen. Okay, apparently a um, Milam is the organization apparently that uh, owns this drug and basically has quadrupled the price of this drug. I think it's uh, started off at a hundred dollars. I think it's up to six hundred dollars now over the last four or five years. But I, I regardless, it basically. Is Mr. Clinton certainly is uh, obviously uh, intervening here, stating that they obviously put profit before the uh, the human need, okay, for this drug, and uh, certainly has sent the biotechs into a tailspin, okay. So uh, Nasdaq certainly has suffered due to that, okay. So you certainly see the Nasdaq now languishing around the four four seven seventy zone, and further uh, obviously losses are due to uh, arrive as the uh, the story hits the media and everybody starts to panic, okay. So certainly a risk off tone there. So uh, emanated from the US markets, so as you can see, S&P 500 now currently around the 2174 region, certainly into a risk off mode and risk aversion certainly seems to be the dominant theme. Uh, now, that certainly has followed through in Asia as well. Uh, you have the Asian markets down overnight. You have the Hang Seng down, the Nikkei, sorry, the Hang Seng is up, Nikkei uh, down and Asian and the Shanghai index down as well. And certainly the risk off tone certainly seems to be th pouring through to the Euro European markets with the FTSE down 0.3%. Uh, it was down even further. Uh, German DAX down also, given the fact that oil price is certainly languishing at $46 after the weaker uh, oil inventory data as well. Okay, Chinese weakness as well. Uh, CAC is down, German DAX is down. We also had German IFO data this morning, certainly weaker than expected. We had French data weaker than expected. So again, a risk off tone there. Okay, uh, We've just had some UK data come out and certainly has come out on the stronger side. Uh, CBI data certainly has come out toward the stronger side. CBI reported sales 9 versus 5. But having said that, it basically means that... Um, it basically means that uh, he, uh, the BOE will no longer obviously do QE. So again, there is certainly a, yeah, a risk off tone towards that as well. Okay, so that certainly is something to uh, consider. Now, in terms of uh, technicals, let's just bring up the technical charts for you folks. Okay, so first of all, let's start off with the German DAX. Let's see where we are technically positioned here. Let's go to the daily chart of German DAX again. It's all about the unfilled gap below here and here. Given the weaker IFO data negates last week's stronger data and German GDP that was in line yesterday, certainly does raise a few questions and therefore looking for a risk aversion tone, especially given the fact that the NASDAQ now is starting to come off. Okay, Looking at the 60-minute chart here of the German DAX, again, it's all about gap fill below, looking for 10.370, folks. We certainly have bounced off that 200 MA and double bottom as well at 10,460, but again, looking for risk aversion. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart, the French CAC here, it's an inside bar so as opposed to yesterday. Having said that, weaker data from France, obviously, NASDAQ weakness as well. You are looking at gap fill below around the 4,340 zone. So, watch out for 4,340 on the, the French CAC as well. Going to the 60-minute chart, the French CAC, let's just see exactly what's happening here. You had uh, horizontal support, certainly have bounced from there. Okay, so horizontal support certainly has bounced, certainly has helped the rally on the French CAC. And again, uh, you are looking at retesting 4.380 and potentially closing that gap below at 4.340. So it's all about NASDAQ. If NASDAQ continues its weakness, then you can expect weakness to continue in the into the... Uh, into the US markets and European markets as well. Okay, let's move over to the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 daily chart retesting previous resistance equal support around that 4780 uh, zone. Obviously, we bounced quite handsomely from there. 60 minute chart, the FTSE 100 bounced off this key horizontal support line around the 46780. Uh, we are now back into this resistance zone at uh, 6813, 6815. Uh, obviously retesting the uh, H&S neckline and the downside target remains 6670.
10 minute chart the FTSE previous for support equals resistance so any anything below 6825 will certainly cut in count on resistance and look for and certainly expect weakness there in terms of the european or euro stocks let's just bring up the euro stocks and give you an insight there okay so euro stocks and the daily chart you are looking at uh, an inside bar thus far okay but having said that you are looking for a potential test back down to that 2900 zone so certainly be aware and cognizant of that as well 60 minute jar you have the young fill gap at uh, 2960 certainly looking to close in the back of this weaker german data so again looking for weakness potential retest at 2975 certainly is on the cards okay you have horizontal support down in this region here where previous resistance equals support back at 2970 and then you have this gap fill at 2960 so given the uh, concerns with regards to uh, the nasdaq and uh, the biotechs obviously pharmaceuticals coming under pressure we have commodities under pressure as well with copper oil gold all languishing you were, and given the fact that the us dollar now certainly is expected to uh, potentially uh, rally going into jackson hole given the fact that we have uh, one day left you are looking at uh, the dollar certainly catching a bid okay on that note be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of the 25 percent bonus goodbye now folks